Serve the Lord if you can. <laughs> okay, that's going to be easy. <laughs> oh, it's good to be. Yeah. Jesus has set me free. I, I, I won't turn back. Oh, I won't turn back. I won't turn back. Oh, my. Jesus has set me free, and I, I, I won't turn back. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. Yes. Amen. It's a good day, a good day to serve the Lord, and we ought to serve the Lord with gladness, serve the Lord with, with, with total dedication, and love in our hearts. Yes. Amen. Because the Lord has been truly good to us. Yes. As we can sing that song all down through the years. Yes. The Lord has been good to me. Amen. And then we can put an exclamation point on it and say all of my life yes. uh, the Lord has been good to me. So as we get ready to come before the Lord in prayer let us certainly remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily, <coughs> such as should be saved. That the Lord will help us to, to build us up, to encourage our hearts, yes. that we may move forward in the Lord. Amen. And be strong in Him and in the power of His might. Yes, Lord. Uh, are there any particular uh, prayer requests uh, that we have on today? My brother? Yes, I just ask that you. Sister? Praise the Lord. body of Christ, near and far, let us pray for one another. Amen. Amen. Let the church stand. Thank you, Lord. And let every heart pray. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come boldly to the throne of grace, yeah. we certainly say thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. Thank you, we thank you, Lord, for how you blessed us, each and every one of us, to come together to worship you in spirit and in truth. Yes. We pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every request that's been made known. Yes, Those that are sick in their bodies that need deliverance, that be need set free. Yes. Lord, we pray, Lord, that for your healing hands, that your healing hands would rest upon them yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus. Name of and we certainly pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every soul, those that are here at Christian Ministries, those, yes. hallelujah, that are, are absent. We pray, Lord, that you would bless them in the name of Jesus, that you would touch hearts and minds and spirit. And we pray, Lord, for the remainder part of our Bible study on today, that you would touch our hearts and our minds. Yes. Hallelujah. That you would grant us the door of utterance. Yes. That you would grant us ears to hear the engrafted word of God. Hallelujah. That we not only be hearers of the word, but doers of the word. Yes. Father, we hey, glory. We thank you. Yes. We praise you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Jesus name. amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We certainly praise God for how he has tre tremendously blessed us. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. You got to give me some tape. Uh, this particular passage here is going to fall off. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 
chapter number 12. I need to peel that off. Thank you, Jesus. Take it. Today we want to talk about uh, total surrender. Praise the Lord. Total surrender unto the Lord. Ain't that a good topic? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Total surrender unto the Lord. Total surrender. Yes. Total surrender unto the Lord. And as believers, uh, we must be uh, totally submitted to the Lord. Amen. That's, that's part of God's prayer required. Everything we have, everything that he allows us to be stewards over, amen, must be devoted to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Everything. Uh, the clothes on your back, the money in your bank account or in your pocket, amen, the car you drive, the house you live in, the food you eat, <laughs> have the, even the air you breathe. <laughs> amen. It has to be totally devoted and surrendered unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We have to consider in our mind, uh, what does that look like? Amen. For me to, or for you to live a totally surrendered, submitted life. Amen. Have you ever thought about that? Uh, what, what does it look like to live a totally surrendered submitted life unto the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and uh, a lot of people don't think that way. Uh, a lot of people think that uh, this is my life uh, and, and I got one life to live and uh, like that song said, this is my thing. Uh, <laughs> I can do what I want to do. Amen. And, and, and uh, I've heard uh, one person say, you know, um, what, I, what I do at church belongs to the Lord. What I do at my house belongs to me. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's, that's, not, that's not the way of the Lord. Amen? Thank you, Lord. It's not the way of the Lord. So I wanna, we want to we wanna go over to uh, the book of... The book of Romans, amen. The book of Romans, chapter number 12. And uh, part of my goal today is I want to paint a picture in your mind of, of what it looks like to be totally submitted uh, unto the Lord. Amen. The Lord wants you totally submitted amen. unto him. Amen. amen? Thank you, Lord. So let us look in uh, at the book of Romans, chapter number 12. Chapter number 12. If you haven't seen me, thank you, Lord. All right. Uh, Elamani, I, I thought you was going to read from me. Oh, well, you usually ask, right? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I thought you volunteered. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't move until instructed. Oh, okay. Amen. Amen. So if you'll be my reader for me today, Amen. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Amen. Romans chapter number 12, uh, beginning at verse number 1. Amen. Yes. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, uh -huh. by the mercies of God. Yes. That ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, uh -huh. holy, acceptable unto God, uh -huh. which is your reasonable service. Read. And be not conformed to this world, yeah. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, uh -huh. that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable 
and perfect will of God. Amen. So Paul, Paul starts out uh, this, this chapter of this Roman epistle, and he says, I beseech you, and that, that word beseech you, as you already know, means to beg. Uh, I, to, I beg you, I, be, I implore you. Amen. I beg, I implore you, therefore. And that, that, that therefore there is very powerful therefore. It, it, it really connects all that has already been said with everything that is about to be said. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It connects everything that God has already done for you uh, and with everything that God wants to do for you. Amen. 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 And, and if, if you look at what Paul said in those first chapters of Romans, it talks about how the Lord has saved you. Yeah. Amen. How he sacrificed for you. Right. Uh, to bring you to the therefore. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, to bring you to the therefore. Uh, since the Lord has sacrificed and saved you, therefore, he has some great and precious promises for you. Uh, he has laid out a lifestyle by which you ought to live. Amen? Uh, that's huge that you see it that way. Amen? That therefore uh, is, 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 is a connective, uh, I'm going to call it uh, 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 conjunction. Uh, it's a connective conjunction uh, that connects with God has done for you. Uh, and because he did that for you, you needed him to do that for you. So that you can therefore receive his promises and live according to how he has desired you to live. Being, being engaged in his blessings. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So he says, I beseech you, therefore, notice what he says, brother. Uh, so when he says brethren, now you know that he's not talking to those that have not been rejuvenated. He's not talking to those that have not been born again. Uh, because after this, therefore, those who have not been born again have not been generated. God doesn't expect them uh, to live this way, Amen. Uh, to Amen. present their bodies as a living sacrifice. Amen. God doesn't expect, he doesn't, well, let's see now I'm about to get indignant here. God, God doesn't want nothing from them uh, because, because those that are on the other side of the cross, uh, uh, they're separated from God spiritually. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and whatever they offer him is, is not is not his his uh, standard, right. Amen. It's not what he desires. Mm. Uh, but those that are on the other side of the therefore, mm. uh, now those are the ones that he expects great things from. Amen. Uh, those are the ones that are in relationship with him. Yes. Uh, those are the ones that 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 can receive of his goodness and his mercies and his love and his kindness. Amen. Those are the ones that benefit uh, from, from having a relationship with God. Amen. Those are the ones that are in a covenant relationship with him. Are you in a covenant relationship with him? Uh, all of you.